So now let us talk about datasets. GitHub.com slash D G A D A R A J U slash data is the URL where you can actually uh, get the datasets from. You can uh, click on this link and uh, it will open up uh, the URL in GitHub uh, and it will take you to this. And uh, you can download uh, onto your PC or onto the Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hotmox Sandbox. Um, if you are using, if you are preparing for the certifications, I would highly recommend to use Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hotmox Sandbox or uh, the big data labs provided by us or similar environment or your work environment where you have access to cluster. So you need to make sure you copy um, the files um, onto the Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hotmox Sandbox because from your PC, you will not be able to directly upload the files into HDFS. Uh, and that, that, uh, that's what uh, will be expected even the certification. They will give the files in local file system uh, to which you will be connecting to to give the certification. And from there, you have to copy the files into uh, uh, HDFS and you might have to process the data. So for all those practical purposes, you need to clone or download the files on virtual machines which you set up to practice uh, for the certification or on the lab the data is already available. And now I will show you how to or give you a few um, instructions about how to get this data onto your environment where you are practicing uh, for certifications. And those environments could be Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hotmox Sandbox or Gateway Nodes or edge nodes for, for your work environment. Either you can use git uh, command line such as git clone and give this path which you see here and it will set up the environment for you. Um, even if you don't have a, a, a desktop or a graphical user interface for your uh, um, clients to the big data cluster, still you can uh, use git clone something like this uh, git has to be set up on your edge node or gateway node on um, hotmox sandbox also if you are trying to set up you you might have to set up git before doing this for that you can explore depending upon the operating system you are using uh, you can explore how to set up git and then you can give the path like this and hit enter it will download the binaries for you as long as you have connectivity to the internet on top of it if you are using uh, uh, cloudera quick start vm you also get a graphical interface where you will have access to firefox browser and all you just uh, expand this and then download zip and the zip uh, the entire data sets will be zip and uh, downloaded onto the piece uh, onto your uh, cloudera quick start vm and uh, you ha just have to unzip and you have to put wherever you want and then you can start leveraging those things on the lab itself the data is already available in the local file system under slash data you can see the uh, data sets most of the data sets which are in git are here now if you want to just copy the data i have already shown you just have to say Hadoop FS hyphen ls. Let's say I want to copy retail underscore db from data. On your virtual machines uh, or any other environment you are using uh, which have uh, access to cluster, you just have to say and uh, give the appropriate path to which you have downloaded the uh, files. And by saying retail db, I am recursively copying everything from the directory into this location okay um, so i have already done and it's already there so i'm just deleting it but that is the command which you can use and i can uh, verify that by saying hyphen ls command user d gajraju retail unspot db and you can see all the files uh, that are already copied. If you just want to check the size of this, you can say hyphen du hyphen s hyphen h and give this path. 
and uh, this is very small data set uh, but it, it 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 comes very handy to explore the stuff functionally so all the files together uh, from the six uh, directories which replicates tables uh, have 9.1 megabytes of data only but functionally uh, you can explore uh, a lot using these data sets so now let us understand what this retail db is so it has six tables or six directories sim uh, sim simulating the table structures in the database and uh, there are four master tables in it customers products categories departments etc you can also uh, run wc hyphen l command on all the directories okay uh, and then you can get the number of records so you can see order items have most number of records 170 2198 and orders have 68,883. Rest of the rest of the stuff, customers have 12,345, products 1,345, department 6, and categories 58. All these tables, uh, uh, except orders and order items, are considered to be master tables, and orders and order items are considered to be transaction tables. So this is the data model and relationships between them. Uh, for the, uh, it simulates uh, e-commerce platform. And uh, whenever you place an order, uh, there will be a record uh, in order with the order level attributes such as order date, order customer ID, order status. Uh, if you want to get the customer details, uh, you can go to customers from this using order customer ID. And uh, each order can have multiple uh, uh, items added to it. Uh, so if you go to websites like Amazon.com, you buy multiple products in one transaction uh, for each transaction or order there will be one entry in orders but there can be a number of entries in order items and uh, we we see order items properties here so there is one too many relationship between orders and order items and uh, then what products we are trying to buy in each order item uh, is can be retrieved by order item product id which is the primary key in products which will give the details of products uh, for that product ID and then products can be categorized into categories and departments uh, uh, so uh, departments is the parent table categories is the child table and products is the uh, child most table in the product catalog and customers is an isolated master table and orders and order items are transactions tables and um, uh, they are connected to customers through orders and rest of the tables through order items so we'll be using this model as much as we can while exploring uh, uh, the technologies uh, related to certification.